Hey Jetty Rockers, welcome to Jetty Rocks Fishing. Well, we're out here this morning. I'm up, up in New Smyrna, but the first time I've been out in a couple weeks, it's been really bad weather. But we're out here today. I'm out with my buddy, Brad Moore. Right now he's ran across the street to go get us some uh, sand fleas. We found a bait shop that has some sand fleas, so we're coming up there to go get some. And we started off this morning trolling the no egg zones with some lures, see if we couldn't catch some of the big blue fish that are in the area. But we didn't have no luck with that. So now we're switching all our gears to some sheep's head. So that's what we're gonna be doing today, guys, some sheep's head fishing using our bottom sweeper jigs. And I'll put a link down in the description for our bottom sweeper so you can go check them out if you'd like to buy some of those jigs, because they're absolutely awesome. And that's what we're gonna be doing today, guys, using some bottom sweeper jigs with some sand for us. <laughs> First spot. I got Brad anchoring us up real quick, tying us off. And we're gonna be fishing. I'm actually marking a pretty good amount of fish right now, so hopefully we'll get on some guys. Wish this luck. Alright guys, I'm hooked up. First fish of the day, old Margate. Nice old black Margate. Cool. Beautiful, first fish. All right guys, I'll show you what we're using. I'm using a three quarter ounce bottom sweeper jig. I'm just using a sand flea. This is a dead sand flea. We also got live ones, hooking on there like that. Brad's up there doing the same thing. And, uh, just got one fish in the boat so far. But we've had a couple, both of us have had some really nice hits. So hopefully we'll start getting some really good fish here. All right, guys, hooked up. Don't seem like a very big fish. It's not a small guy. A little sheeper. A bottom sweeper jig, though. I got one here. Nope, little guy. I guess one he was a lot better than that. Little dudes. That's a pretty looking one though. Pretty healthy fish. Alright guys, well we made a move. So hopefully, Brad and I have done really good here before. So hopefully we'll start catching some good keepers put in a box. But we're still looking for them. But there's everybody's out today. Every dock's got boats on them. Every dock. We are lucky enough to get this spot, so hopefully we'll get some. All right, Brad's hooked up. Looks like a good one, too. Looks like a good fish, Brad. Come on, first keeper. For, oh, yeah. There it is. First keeper in the butt. Yeah, he should keep. That should keep. Yeah. Uh, definitely should keep. Nice. Thank you. Nice fish. First one. All right, guys. Well, we had to move yet again. And we've tried to go to a couple different places, but every time we go someplace, there's already somebody there. So we are going to try it here. Never fished here before. Brand new spot. We'll see what happens. All right, we're here. There's a sheep. I can flick him. I think I can flick him. Oh, we go. Oh, nice. All righty. Keeper. Keeper sheephead. Nice one. All righty. Hey, what's up, buddy? How you doing, man? Doing good? Nice sheep's head. Thir 13 incher. All righty. Bottom sweeper jig. All right, y'all. Well, we have moved yet again. And we'll see what happens. All right, I got something going on here. 
Don't feel very big though. He might keep. He might. He, he's gonna be close. He is going to be close. Not real big today. These fish are pushing on the small side. Bottom sweeper jig, guys. That is my bait of choice, I promise you. Yep, 12 and a half. All right, two for me in the box. Well, actually three. All right, guys, I'm hooked up. Feels like a decent one right here. Maybe, maybe not. Oh, well, he's all right. He might be legal. He might be. He might be legal. Look at Look how they choke those down. Those bottom sweeper jigs, guys. I mean, they choke them down. He's got the whole jig in his mouth. Beautiful. I can't even get it out. He's got in there so good. There we go. Golly. He's got that thing choked. Finally. Don't think you're going to make it though, Bubba. I think you'll be able to go home free. Yep. 11 and a half. Let's see you, Bubba. All right, guys. Well, the sheep said have kicked our butt. No matter what we've done today, we just cannot make it happen. We stopped off and talked to a couple people, and they ain't catching nothing either. So we're going to go up here real quick. I'm going to check my uh, stone crab traps. We have something. I'll film it. If not, I'm just going to head to the house. Uh, but anyway, I'll do a close out here in a minute. Hopefully, we'll have some stone crabs, guys. Let's see if I can grab it. All right. That's the first one right here. This, to my surprise, it has not been stolen. My other three have been took, so I only got two left. So I gotta go home and take these back and redo everything. Let's see if we got any stonies in here. Oh, we got one in there. Oh, we got a giant. Dude, he's biggin'. Oh yeah, that's a biggin'. Both those claws are good. Come here, buddy. Come here. Come here. There you go. Both those claws are legal, I'm 100% sure. Where's my... Oh, I can't find my... There it is. Right here. Let me get a picture of that. It's big old stony. Sweet. Awesome. Cool. Yeah, I know that claw's good. Holy cow. That claw's good. All right, cool. Get both these claws. There's one. All right. And two. See you later, buddy. All right. All right, Jody Rockers. Well, we're back in. I didn't film the second pull of the stone crab traps because I didn't get nothing in it. Just got the one stone crab trap. So we're back home. It's actually the next day. And we're going to talk a little bit about what I was using, what Brad and I were using out there, and what is now my very favorite way to fish for sheep's head, the bottom sweeper jig. All right, guys. Well, here's the box I take with me every day that I go out fishing for sheep's head. This is my bottom sweeper jig box. On this side, I have all my... My half ounce jigs with one ounce hooks. This is my three quarter ounce jigs with one ounce hooks. And this is my one ounce jig with a two ounce hook. This is a fairly big size jig. And I like to use this offshore in really deep water with a bigger baits. And these here, my three quarter, I use around docks and fast current. I use it with a variety of baits. Uh, shrimp work really well, sand fleas, fiddler crabs. Uh, blue crab knuckles, mud crabs, whatever your favorite sheep's head bait is. But this one right here is pretty much my go-to jig. I like the pink and I also like the orange. So I can get one here. Those are my two favorite colors right there. And this is the, the half ounce with the one out hook. Alright guys, I'm going to show you a couple really unique things about these jigs and what I like them, why I like them so much and why they're so effective. They're perfectly weighted. 
you see it just spin around and it'll spin around like a top and also if you take these jigs and you drop them they always come back up they always come up hook up no matter how you drop them the hook always stays up stays straight up and that is really effective when you're fishing real heavy structure like rocks pilings or anything like that on the bottom culvert pipes this really helps in the fact that it doesn't get hung up if you're fishing it vertical now my favorite way to fish these jigs and what I recommend for you guys to use if you're gonna be using these jigs is fish them vertical so straight up and down I fish them as deep as 70 feet of water and I fish them as shallow as six feet of water and as long as you're fishing straight up and down you're not going to get hung up. I have only lost two of these jigs since I've been fishing with them. And I've been fishing with them now for a few months. And I've been fishing a lot with them. And I've caught a lot of fish on them. And I've only lost two. So that should tell you something. As long as you're fishing them vertical. Now if you're casting them underneath docks, you're going to lose quite a bit more jigs than you would fishing it the way they were designed to fish. Alright guys, I'm just going to show you a couple different you know, ones I have here. These ones are still in the packages. These ones I keep at the house. These are all my extras. You know, this is the Bottom Sweeper Jig. This is the name of the company. And you can find it on bottomsweeperjig.com. You know, the guy Dan Schaefer, the one who uh, came up with this jig. Awesome guy. I've talked to him a few times via messaging, and he's just a really cool dude. You know, they also have a couple different sizes to choose from. You got um, 3 8 ounce with a 1 out hook here. Different colors. You also have, let's see if I can grab one here quarter ounce with a one out hook and then also they have a glow one this one here glows in the dark if you charge it up with a light it glows and it's a three out hook with a one ounce jig I've been wanting to try this offshore for mangoes I think it's gonna be really good alright guys I'm just gonna show you how I rig it up it's real simple I use about a foot and a half to two foot 20 pound to 30 pound test fluorocarbon leader tied with either a blood knot or a double uni knot whichever knot you like to your braid and I'm using 30 pound braid and basically just tying it on there I use a clench knot that's a knot that I'm very comfortable with I like the clench knot I have it paired with my um, ugly stick inshore select this is my 7.6 I'm pretty sure uh, yep 7.6 medium heavy action I have it with my um, pin AF 3000 and this is an awesome setup this is great I've used this offshore 70 feet of water I've used it around docks I've used it around the jetties I've used it around the bridges and it has worked out very very good for me alright guys well, I hope you all enjoyed this video I hope you guys go out and check out the bottom sweeper jigs I mean they're awesome I'm gonna put the link down in the description they're an absolutely amazing product um, I can't say enough good things about them to be honest with you. I absolutely love them. They have totally upped my game on Sheep's Head and I recommend them 100%. 100% I think is one of the best ways that you can target Sheep's Head. I know there's some other jigs out there that I haven't tried those jigs but I have tried this one. I have fished with it hard and it has worked very well for me. It hasn't let me down yet. I've caught quite a few different species on them. I've caught the Sheep's Head. Obviously I've caught Mangrove Snapper. I've caught porgies on them, I've caught black margates on them, I've caught puffers, I've caught some other, other trash fish kind of stuff with it, but they're very, very good. And here pretty soon, as soon as this weather calms down for me, I'm going to go offshore with live shrimp with nothing but the one ounce, two hot hook jig, and I'm going to see how many species I can catch with that jig, which I think is going to be very, very surprising. So thank you guys very much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And until I get to see you guys again on the water here soon, tight lines, Jay Rockers. We'll be seeing you real soon. You might be leaving. Look at that. Look how they choke those down, those bottom sweeper jigs, guys. I mean, they choke them down. He's got the whole jig in his mouth. Beautiful. Jay Rockers, thank you very much for watching this video. I'd like to invite you all to go follow me on my Facebook page at Jetty Rocks Fishing and also my Instagram page. I also have a JRF apparel page which will send you a link to my Teespring page where I have some cool shirts and some mugs. 
I appreciate you guys very much. Well, check out the description. In the bottom of this video, I'll have the links. Tight lines, Jedi Walkers.